Well, um, some of you know that uh, recently um, there's been some changes at the shop. Better cleaned up a lot of stuff, got rid of a lot of junk cars, painted a lot of stuff, put a lot of new signs and stuff up outside that you guys haven't seen yet. Also, we've changed some employees. One of the guys that's here on the channel no longer is here on the channel. I've been waiting to tell this story, and he is a subscriber here on the channel. In all fairness to him, we're not going to say his name, but we will talk about the situation. Basically, what ended up happening is this gentleman, I've had multiple conversations with him about showing up to work on time over and over and over again over the last few months. And it was always one of those situations where he would show up, and then he would clock in at like... 8.10, 8.15, 8.05, and he wouldn't be ready to work until 8.45, 8.30, and that's not what he's hired for. He was hired to be here at 8 o'clock, working at 8 o'clock. So that means showing up a little earlier to be ready so you're ready to go at 8 o'clock. But he would never do that. So after multiple counseling statements, uh, you know, sitting down, counseling him, letting him know what the expectation is, asking what we can do to make it better for him. We changed his time to nine o'clock. Then the same exact thing started happening at nine o'clock. It was always 10, 15 minutes late or coming, clocking in right at the time, but then not being on the floor ready until 9.30, 9.45, that was obviously an issue. In the middle of having a conversation with uh, the gentleman, what ended up happening is he just basically said as I was we did a formal counseling statement with a signed piece of paper. And then um, on top of that, uh, he was late again and again. And then uh, the third time he was late after the paper being signed and uh, recognizing the expectations. Um, I said, hey, man, what, what's the deal here? And he was like, you know, I think this, this job is becoming too corporate for me. I don't want to have to be set to a specific time that I need to be on the floor. If I can clock in by 9 o'clock, that should be good enough. Well, no, that's not how it works. You don't tell your boss that that's how you're going to do business and that's how you're going to be, that's how you're going to work for him. So, uh, in the middle of that conversation, he said, you know, I think I just need to move on about my business and go to find a different job where I can kind of be free to do what I want. My lifestyle right now doesn't allow me to be adhere adherence to your schedule and what you want. So after the conversation happened, he no longer works for us. He's with somebody else now. And uh, from what I understand, he's okay. He's happy, um, but it's, it's not the same job. He wanted to come back after he took the new job and we just can't do it. Um, Basically, if you're an employer that has an employee that's having a hard time getting with the program and you know they're not a good fit for the company but they want to stay, you're not doing yourself any service. You're also not doing them any service. You're wasting their time and you're wasting your own time. It's better that you just part ways, especially if you can't get your act. What was today's program about? Today's program was basically about um, how you look at your numbers. How you figure out what your gross profit per hour, gross profit per RO, how you figure out uh, are your technicians being a fit, as efficient as they possibly can, how many open bays do you have, how much potential money income can you can you actually produce with a shop your size, and then um, they went over like different roles in the business, like you know me at the place where I'm at. I play all the roles. I'm in the shop working, putting out fires. I'm up front selling service. I'm managing. I'm in the back putting out fires and stuff. Basically, it shouldn't be that way. If you're running an efficient shop, somebody should be in the shop working, dealing with service, and somebody should be up front dealing with sales and customer service, uh, looking after employees, stuff like that, trying to manage the business. You cannot have one person running the entire business, the entire operation, and it actually be as efficient as it possibly can. It's just not, it's not set up that way. And if you're trying to make money and you think by saving money going with lower qualified guys is going to save you money, you're wrong. Uh, you could have two or three low paid guys that are, you know, $20, $22, $23 an hour. 
and still not get the work done of one good qualified ATAC and you'd be paying him 35 to 40 dollars an hour um, so that one qualified ATAC can do two or three people's job and still have the diagnostic background to stop the comebacks from happening and fix it right the first time um, criteria things like this so looking at your analytics and looking at the employees and what you have is very very important also uh, the amount for potential growth a lot of these business owners that were there they started out barely making it and in the negative because they didn't have proper management they didn't know what they were doing wrong they didn't know by having certain employees and stuff on staff it was actually dragging the business down so sometimes you just got to let certain people go that won't get with the program they're not there to benefit the company such as employees that don't feel comfortable stepping out of the role and helping out in other areas well that's fine if that's what you accept but if you need them to do more and you're a one-man show or you're strapped for employees and you need people to help out in other roles well then it's not an option they have to do that and if they're not comfortable they're not fit for the company um it is a way to maximize the growth of the company overall and uh, since i since i came here a lot of things have changed uh, a lot of things look better a lot of things are more efficient a lot of things we're making more money um, employees are happier my partner is less stressed in the company because he was doing everything before and it's just a better atmosphere overall but now it's time to take it to the next level and make it even better I think my well, my next focus in the company is going to be I'm going to hire an ATEC and I'm going to evaluate what I have and figure out with my partner where the company needs to go and what our next step is going to be uh, that's going to be the next process and not me not have to go back out to the shop so much to do the bigger jobs and and uh, teach the bigger jobs and stuff like that actually pay a guy that's qualified that has enough experience to come in and do those things for me so I can focus on growing the company itself so that's where we're at that's the update today was a successful day it was a great group of people and if you're a shop owner and you're looking for management you're looking for somebody to help guide you point you in the right direction then what you need to do is look at something like you know uh, ASTE or shop fix or there's other programs as well uh, ATI ATA there's there's a number of them you just gonna have to search out I know right now we're working with shop fix and it seems to be a really really good program but we're piggybacking shop fix with uh, people from ASTE as well and having both management programs on it on the, at the same time is really helping develop and structure uh, our thinking process so we can move the company in the right direction that's the update have a great night